What I'll miss most about Moneyline will probably be the swim team and all the great friendships and connections I made on there. I'm gonna miss the most at MHS is seeing my friends every day. The pep rallies, the assemblies, the games, you know, the good, the good vibes. Honestly, I'd probably miss Common Ground and Poetry Slam the most. The free lunch Wednesdays and hanging out with my friends. Really gonna miss watching the Friday folks every Friday with Miss Theo. I'm gonna miss the people. I've been going here for so many years, it's gonna feel weird not going here anymore. I'm gonna miss uh, the varsity soccer team as well as <clears throat> Mr. Billetier, Miss Theo, and a couple of the teachers that were my favorites. The community that's in the band and the arts program. I'm gonna miss reviewing all of the lovely places that I have for the school. You know, what I'm gonna miss most about online high school is definitely just spending time with my friends in the cafeteria. So I'm gonna miss it, but I know it's still gonna be there. Good morning, Moneyline High School. I am Roger Levin. And I'm Aaron Anastas, coming to you from the Media Class TV studio. Welcome to the Friday Focus for Friday, April 29th, 2022. Seniors, hopefully after four years, I'm sure you have your own thing that you will miss dearly. And for the rest of you, enjoy the things you love MHS because the time goes quick. Medical Club has love to Ukraine wristbands. We are asking for a $2 donation for each wristband. Additional donations are also more than welcome. All the money will be donated to the United Nations Crisis Relief. See Mrs. O'Toole in room C-308 or Mr. Srivastava in room B-138. They're a great way to support the people of, people of Ukraine and serve as a reminder of how lucky we are with the freedoms we get to enjoy living here in the United States. The MHS Drink Oasis is selling sundaes today with a bar of toppings, including brownies, whipped cream, cookies, and chocolate syrup. The Drink Oasis will be open for business periods 4 through 6 outside of the main cafeteria. Well, the theater department wraps up their final production of the school year. By now, I'm sure you know it's the Adams Family. But in case you want to know more about what the show is, we have this video for you. embraces the wackiness in every family and features an original story. And it's every father's worst nightmare. Wednesday Adams, the ultimate princess of darkness, has grown up and fallen in love with a smart, sweet young man from a respectable family. A man her parents have never met. something he's never done before. Keep a secret from his beloved wife, Morticia. Everything will change for the whole family on the fateful night when they host a dinner for Wednesday's normal boyfriend. And his parents. <laughs> but the big secret is that they're engaged and they're gonna get married. I kind of become this wrench in the mix. One storm is under, down six under. His daughter Wednesday gives him a secret that he can't tell anyone. He feels trapped. Gomez keeps a huge secret from me, so I have to really figure out what that is. Come see the Adams Family, April 28th, 29th, and 30th. Great video, and it looks like a lot of fun. The showtimes are tonight and Saturday at 7.30 and Sunday at 2 o'clock. Student tickets will be sold at a discount today during lunch periods for just $5. So buy early so you can come save some dough and see a great show. Speaking of the arts, maybe yesterday you got a chance to check out the annual All Area Art Show in the afternoon. If you didn't, it will be on display uh, in the same place today through periods 1 through 4 in the gym. Experience the extraordinary artwork created by our MHS art students such as myself as well as the work of our surrounding feeder schools. This will be a K-12 through art exhibition. Yesterday, Mr. Buck was out again looking to give away some gift cards. Let's see and find out if the random student that was drawn was dressed for Theme Thursday. I'm going to interrupt for just a second, if that's okay. Sorry, it was wonderful playing, I appreciate that, but I have a, I have a gift card to give away. Today is tie-dye day. I am looking for... A Daniel Nunez. Daniel. Tie-dye, sweatshirt, it looks like it. You want to stand up for the crowd to see? Very nice. Here's a $10 Starbucks gift card for you. 
congratulations. Well done. Is there anybody else that is also wearing tie-dye? Because I have some suckers to give away. Probably not a good thing to have in your mouth while you're playing an instrument, but if you'd like to have a blow pop for later on, raise your hand and I'll come by and give it to you. Okay. While I'm passing these out, I will let everybody know that next Thursday is going to be May 5th, which is Cinco de Mayo. And since Cinco de Mayo is an underdog story, next Thursday will be Underdog Day. So you can either represent Cinco de Mayo in whatever way you want, or any other underdog story that you might have sitting in your wardrobe. For example, I have a Rocky t-shirt that I could possibly wear. We are rec recognizing any of those underdog stories where the little guy defeated the big guy. Thank you, Tony McElroy and Mr. Buck, for that story. Attention all seniors, have you made your decision on your future after high school and want to celebrate it? Well, happening next Monday, May 2nd, Senior Decision Day celebrations will take place during fourth period on the football field. All seniors are invited to attend and will be excused from their classes. Food will be provided free of charge. Also make sure to follow MHS Decisions on Instagram to stay up to date with the future decisions of your fellow Mustangs. So stop on by and celebrate what the future holds for you. Wellness Boost theme days are ending for this week. During your lunch periods, come for some yard games in the plaza courtyard. The cost is free. Enjoy a break with your friends. And since the plan is to be outside, let's see if the weather is going to cooperate today. Avery, are the yard games going to get rained out today? Well, I've got good news and bad news. Hi, I'm Avery, here to bring you the upcoming weather. This Friday is only going to be a high of 60 degrees and partly cloudy, making it feel even cooler. This Saturday, the weather isn't much better, with storms all day and a high of 62. This Sunday, the temperature drops all the way to 57 degrees. This is a better weekend to stay inside, or you could go see the Adams Family. Back to you guys. Thanks, Avery, for the weather. Well, in spite of all the fun, there are some deadlines that you also have to be aware of, especially if you are working to improve your grade. The deadline to turn in summative assessments was yesterday, April 27th for seniors, and for everyone else, the last day you can turn in summative assignments for class is Thursday, May 5th. Talk to your teachers for more info. Well, if all those deadlines have stressed you out, good news is that on Friday, therapy dogs will be coming in to MHS during all lunch periods. Share some love and reduce stress. Well, last week you saw a mockumentary that provided a behind the scenes look at Roger when he would review something. Now, as the year draws to a close for seniors, we give you the final Roger's review of the year. Oh hey, didn't see you there. Now, I've been fortunate enough to review all the great restaurants and movies for you guys throughout the year. So, to end it on a good note, I'm going to review our very own Wonderline High School. We're going to go back on a trip of nostalgia and reflection as my last ride as a senior here. Join me, will you? Our first location is the library. I know over the years I've come up here on a pretty much daily basis to do work for the school. But I've also been able to come up here and get much support, have it be from our great librarians, uh, recommending a book, or with a listen. But I would recommend taking advantage of all the resources that you can get up here. And even if you don't need to do anything up here, it's always good to just take a seat and relax. And now for our next location. And now we're at the lunchroom. This is where everyone gets to unwind a little bit and get some much needed food to get through the day. I know two years ago, uh, before COVID hit, we actually had a salad bar where you'd be able to get some food where you couldn't get in the main lunch lines. I hope they bring that back for the future school years. I know that I've come here with a lot of friends and this is my chance to just unwind and have a good time. And now for our next location, the gym. And now we're at the main gym. This is where some assemblies are held to sporting events, but mostly this is where everyone goes for gym class. I know for me, I've played countless basketball games to running merciless pacers. But I've had a good time here. I love hanging out with my friends, playing games, and hopefully we can bring back the school assemblies because I always love seeing the friendly rivalry between upperclassmen and lowerclassmen. And now for our final location, the outside entrance. And now we're outside the main entrance. I know for most people, they've gone through these doors on a daily basis. While some come in with great attitudes, others like to come in like it's a chore. But for me personally, I try and make the most out of every day. All in all, I'd give the school eight Mustangs out of four horseshoes. I wish we could do more assemblies and the salad bar was open, but with COVID, it's understandable. Thank you guys for giving me this opportunity to go with you for these years. Have a great day, Mustang. What an amazing review. Well, if you're going to prom next Friday, May 6th, op doors open at 6.30 and goes until 11 p.m. 
All prom goers must attend school on the full day, which isn't a bad thing because it's early dismissal. Bring your ticket and ID. You will not be admitted to the dance if you arrive after 7.30 p.m. Well, that's all there is for this Friday Focus. I'm Aaron, and this is Roger, and this will be our last Friday Focus for the year. I hope you enjoyed each episode as much as we enjoyed putting them together. Have a great weekend, everybody.